What is up? How's it going, guys? Today we're going to draw a whirl. We're going to go over how to shade a uh, skull. So I'm going to pick a skull kind of in profile, and I'm going to be using a polychromos pencil. It's uh, a pencil. Woo! Ah! Sorry, I'm trying to wake up right now. Just feeling kind of tired. Not sure. Uh, I'm really not sure why. You know, I'm just feeling tired. Don't get it. Don't you know? Try not to care that much. So I'm gonna draw the skull in profile. The reason I'm gonna draw it in profile is easy. It's easy to go over. Uh, I'm gonna go over very specific uh, kind of shading techniques on this. Uh, not so much <coughs> the broad shading. You know what I mean? For the basics, you know. I'm sorry. I should have really drew this in here before I even started the video, but too bad. Hopefully you can see this. Tracing out the skull. One thing to remember the skull that everybody, every single person I know forgets would be, um, make sure, don't forget the back of the skull. You know, the back of the skull encases the brain. I notice when people draw, they don't know how to draw at all. They tend to draw the face and then they got some like hair kind of just like scooting out the back of it you know they, they really forget the back of the skull so always keep that in mind that's like a newbie kind of thing to avoid to completely avoid that right now I'm laying it in very kind of spare sparingly just to kind of go over this okay um we're going to talk about like specifically pencils in general same thing with graphite let me sharpen this So if you want, when you're looking at an edge, let's just say, think of this skull in 3D, right? The light is coming from here somewhere, and the front of the face is going to catch light. And the way light works is light will roll around uh, whatever corner, it, you know, whatever turn. So let's say you have a box, right? Let me see if this is on camera. If you have a, a box... You see that corner right there? If the light's coming from the same spot, that light is going to be, this is going to be a light, and this is going to be in dark, right? But think of the shape. The shape is a box, so the light immediately cuts off, right? But let's say you have like a smooth, kind of like smooth surface. See how it kind of rolls in that? And the lights come from the same direction. Let me move this over a little bit. Now, hopefully you see that. If, if the light comes from there, you have the smooth area. It's not going to stop because there's no corner, right? What it's going to do is it's going to slowly transition from light, slowly transition into dark. It's going to have this slow transition. See, it's going to be softer. That's how you smooth stuff out. So that approach, you take that everywhere. Um, if you want to get go further, normally light bounces off surfaces, and you're always going to be around a floor, or let's say it's uh, you have a round shape on your face. It's going to bounce off your chest. Light is going to bounce off your chest, and usually bounces, let's say it goes by here, it bounces right back, whatever the object may be. bounces right back. Because of that, you have a little bit of light on this side. And so what that does is it causes something called a core shadow right here on this rounded edge. So this core shadow, that's what they call, really is because this light is bouncing back right here and making this not so dark. And so it looks like there's a band of shadow on that round part. If you have any questions, please uh, shoot a comment right now. Go to the comment section right now and shoot me a comment because uh, there should be questions, I would, I would hope. So what I'm going to do, one second. Alrighty. So let's go into the to the orbital bone. The orbital bone is going to be really uh, a little bit tricky. Actually, now that I think about it, it's not that tricky. It is. Alrighty. We're going to go right here, and I'm going to be putting with the side of the pencil. Usually, when I do a soft edge like that, I use the side of the pencil, and then when I do a harder edge, I use a straight line. So I'm going to actually map out where I want the shadows. You know what I mean? See, this is going to be a rounded edge along the orbital bone right there. It's going to be kind of soft, and then it's going to get harder. 
as it goes to the edge of the bone here. Soft over here as well. What I would do is practice from uh, medical skulls. You can either buy one off a medical website or you could actually just go on the internet, find a picture of a medical skull, go to an accurate one. Don't go to drawing of one because that's someone's interpretation. Go to a, a uh, maybe like a medical website or something like that. Going down the nasal cavity. Right here, this is the edge of the mouth here. Right here, uh, dimple over here the with the zygomatic arch eventually ties to. And there's going to be kind of a soft-ish edge over here. But there's going to be a hard one over here because it's the edge of the actual skull. Over here, this kind of round, it's kind of a round form. Putting a little bit of shadow down there, but not much. You have to judge how much shadow there is and isn't. Over here is a dark spot. The jaw kind of connects. There's going to be this connection. That's just a negative space. Same thing over here on this side. I'm going to fill this in right here because it's eventually going to be dark. So I fill this in entirely, almost. This is soft over here. I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm looking at it and reevaluating it. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Trying to make a soft edge right here. Kind of rubbing it around. And I'm going to put a light kind of shadow over the whole thing because the, the light's coming from the front. Putting the edge there. I'm going to throw this on there just so I have something to work with to kind of get rid of the white of the paper. Alrighty. Let's get in uh, more deeply here. I'm going to be darkening this a little bit because uh, this is kind of like the, the deepest cavity of the eye. So we'll be getting receiving less light than the outer part. Something about how the light's going to hit. Always thinking about edge, the edges of this, edges of that. Going down to the teeth. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm actually want to, I would like to just really, really get in and shade certain parts so you know what I'm talking about. See, this is a broad kind of, it's almost like the way I outline the shapes, you know, then I go into the line. I'm kind of outlining the shadow 
and then I would go into the shadow and kind of uh, mess with that. So let's mess with one area. I'm gonna mess with the zygomatic arch, which is the cheekbone right here, and then some over here, the tooth. And I'm gonna do that to really show what I'm doing and try to... So I'm gonna be going down more with the tip of my pencil, and I'm gonna try to really manipulate the edge over here of the shadow of uh, what's going on here. I'm gonna make a sharp edge over here because it, it just looks nice to accentuate kind of an edge, like a sharp shape. And then it softens out. And that's gonna be throughout the drawing. There's gonna be really sharp shapes to accent certain areas. Uh, contrasting, you know, the kind of smoother, smooth areas. Over that with my hand a little bit. So this is a negative space over here with a tooth, a tooth area. I'm gonna put a really dark right here. It's a shadow within a shadow. Trying to separate some of the shadow, uh, the shapes. So I separate this, so if I want to separate the cheekbone and make it look closer, I make uh, the shape behind it a little bit darker, but not too much darker. The teeth, I'm treating the teeth like little tubes almost. All right. Let me go into this area and really try to shade it, and then uh, I'm going to time lapse this, and uh, we'll uh, come right back to it. Everything known to man, 
everything so, you can do. Everything down here. I've always been fascinated by doing it. I've, okay. I've always been fascinated by those uh, those those programs that try to reset the way you're thinking. And they work. Do they approach that? They work. They, they work. work. What do they, they do? Work. Do they work? Can you patterns? Well, at the very least, it's positive thinking. That's right. Right. That's at the very least. Right. At the very most, at, at, at the very most, I don't know what you believe in spiritually, but at the very most, you're actually making like a conscious contact with God. Right. That's at the very most. And then, but at the very least, if it's if it's positive thinking, fuck it, that's good enough. Sure. You know, if you're praying, like pray at prayer at the very least is positive thoughts. You know, you're you're not sitting there worrying or 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 or, or being angry. You're praying. You're, you're at the once again. I'll, I'll say it one more time. At the very least, you're positive thinking. Remember that back in the seventies, positive thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I lo- I'm writing. I love. Alrighty, we're back, and uh, I kind of cheated around a little bit. I mean, there's still a lot more work I want to do, but I want to talk about this. I went in there, and I tried to, uh, the, the closer and more detail I get, I stand more and more on the tip of my pencil, and I start flicking little lines in the same way I do there. I want to follow the direction, almost like I'm cross-hatching, you know? Almost like tiny little cross-hatching, and I'm trying to trace over, you know, I'm trying to shape and trying to mold you know, the direction I'm thinking in 3D at the same time. Every line I try to pull, I try to pull in the direction of uh, the surface of the skull itself. Uh, last thing I add right now, at least for the demo, is I had a very, very uh, darkish shadow pattern over here. Shadow pattern. Yeah, like the shadow on the floor. And that can really accent the whole thing sometimes. Sometimes I like that. Sometimes it really... I'm 
pressing really hard on this uh, pencil. Well, you can see that. Like I said, sometimes that accents the whole thing. Uh, one more thing, I'm going to go up here to the brow. Using the tip of my pencil here for all this over here. I'm putting a layer of glaze over the whole thing a little bit as well. Because I want the brightest spot to be toward the top. Toward the top of the skull over here. That's turning in space. I'm gonna say so. And one more thing that bothers me, I want this to connect to something. So I want it to connect back here. Alrighty, and that's about it for the demo. And uh, if you have any questions, please post them below. Uh, I'm gonna be going over shading maybe again, maybe more specific parts uh, you know, of the skull. Uh, maybe a different angle, but uh, this has been uh, the first of shading with a pencil. Just regular shading a skull. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Uh, subscribers help a lot. And like this video if you learned anything from it. And uh, I'll see you. Thank you.